Hey guys! Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little productivity hack that I made up for myself years ago. I've been wanting to share this with you for a long time, um, but I am finally getting around to it now. I call this the origami method. It has nothing to do with origami. The only thing that has to do with origami is that this is the only thing I know how to make in origami without having to look it up. Um, I know how to make this little box, but today's video is not about how to make an origami box. It is about how to use that origami box to get through your to-do list. If you're interested in learning how to do this origami box, I will find a tutorial for you on YouTube and link you that below. Um, and then you can use it if you want to. It's a fun little project. But uh, today's video is about tackling a to-do list. This method works really well for a to-do list of items that are roughly equal in importance and time sensitivity. And as you'll see in a minute, you don't want this to be a list of things that need to be done in a particular order necessarily. Uh, let's just jump into it and you'll probably start thinking of ideas of things that you would want to put on this list if you want to try this out for yourself. You'll need some sort of container. I use this origami box, some lined paper, a pen, a pair of scissors, and a roll of tape. First, you start off by writing down everything in your to-do list. This works really great with things that are roughly of the same length. You don't want anything on here that takes all day to do, ideally. These should be things that take between 10 minutes to an hour, depending, but obviously you can change it up however you see fit personally. If you have certain lists of things that need to be done in a certain order, you can break it up and then put a separate sort of numbered to-do list to the side for reference. So you know, for example, if you need to clean the bathroom in three steps, first you go in and put in the toilet bowl cleaner, then you come back and you clean the toilet bowl. Um, those things should all just say the same thing on the line. You're gonna have three lines, clean bathroom, clean bathroom, clean bathroom and you'll see why in a second. Next, you wanna take your list, and this is why it's lined paper. You chop it all up into tiny little slips. This might seem tedious, but if you like arts and crafts like me, this might be probably the easiest part. We all know we love to-do lists as a form of procrastination. So take each of these tiny little strips of paper and fold them up and throw them into your container. Ideally, they should all be the same size so that you can't tell what's what. Next, you take that box and you shake it up, mix everything together, and pull out one task at a time. Just that one task. Stick it on your list with your tape, and that's the task you do. That's what you're assigned. So once you're done with your first task, you do the exact same thing for your second task. Great. And move on just like that. The beauty of this method for me is a lot of times there's things that I feel are not super important or I'll get stuck in decision fatigue and not know what to work on next and just having the decision of what comes next decided for me really helps me uh, it's like something outside of myself is telling me what to do when and it makes me feel a lot more productive and I actually do get through a lot more by the end of the day because I don't have to decide what to do next so I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, definitely comment below if you think you're interested in trying it. I would love to hear how it works for you. This system has been working for me recently as like a weekend projects. I've, I've also used it for a single day's list of tasks. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe, all of that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.